Have you ever wondered why rain wheels are made of a single piece of metal? Why train wheels are conical shaped? Unlike most vehicles, which have wheels made up of multiple pots, train wheels are forged from a single piece of steel. But why is that? The answer lies in the unique demands of train travel. Train wheels must be able to withstand massive amounts of weight and stress without bending or breaking. In fact, a single train wheel can carry up to 40,000 pounds of weight. The weight of a train can be incredible, especially when you factor in the cargo it's carrying. A train can weigh hundreds of tons, so the wheels need to be strong enough to support that weight and keep the train moving smoothly. To achieve this strength, train wheels are made through a process called forging which involves heating a block of steel to a high temperature and then shaping it using a hammer or press. This creates a single piece of metal that is incredibly strong and durable. But the strength of train wheels isn't just important for supporting weight. It's also crucial for safety. Train derailments can have disastrous consequences so train wheels must be able to stay on the tracks at all times. By using a single piece of metal, train wheels are less likely to come apart or fail, which makes train travel much safer. Also, train wheels are not like regular wheels. They are conical shaped with a slightly curved profile. The reason for this shape has to do with the unique physics of how a train moves along the tracks. When a train moves on a track, the outer rail is longer than the inner rail on a curve. This causes the train to lean inwards towards the curve, which can cause a dangerous situation known as a derailment. To prevent this from happening, train wheels are conical shaped. The conical shape allows the train to smoothly transition from the longer outer rail to the shorter inner rail on a curve. In fact, physicist Richard Feynman explains very well why train wheels are conical. The harder one, and very entertaining, was what keeps a train on the track? And of course the answer is, as everyone thinks, the flanges on the wheels, you know, the wheels have some kind of flange on them. But that's not the answer. Those flanges are just safety devices. If the flanges rub against the tracks, you hear a terrible squealing. They're just in case the real mechanism doesn't work. There's another problem with trains that's connected to it. That people all know this about their automobile, that when you go around a corner, the outside wheels have to go further than the inside wheels. And if the front, if the wheels were connected on a solid shaft, you couldn't do that. You, you can't turn the outside wheels further than the inside wheels. And so the shaft is broken in the middle with a gear system, it's called a differential. Did you ever see the differential on a railroad train? No, you look at those wheels under a freight car, and there are the two wheels and there's a solid steel rod going from one wheel to the other. There's nothing, one turns the same as the other. So now how does it go around the corner? a curve when the outside wheel has to go further than the inside wheel. And the answer is that the wheels are flanged like this. I mean, not flanged, they're, they're cones. This way. That is, they're a little fatter, closer to the train, and a little thinner further out. If you look closely, you'll see they've got this beveled edge. And it's all very simple. When they go around a curve, they slide out on the track a bit so that this wheel travels on a fatter part bigger diameter and this on a smaller diameter. So when they both turn one turn, this swings further than the other. And that's what keeps it on the track also the same way. Suppose a train's running along on this thing, on the track, and the track's here and here, and the two wheels are exactly balanced and it's nice and even. Suppose accidentally it gets a bump or something and slides out this way. Then this wheel is on a bigger circumference than this one, but they're on a solid shaft. So when it turns once around, it carries this wheel forward relative to the other and steers the train back on the track. Of course, if it gets too far off on the other side, it goes back and forth and it stays on the track because the wheels are tapered and the flange is safety. Well, we had a lot of stuff like that that we had to learn, you know, that would get straightened out before we could become full-fledged members of the fraternity. As the train moves along the curve, 
The conical-shaped wheels make contact with both rails at the same time, keeping the train stable and preventing derailments. Additionally, the conical shape of the train wheel also helps to reduce wear and tear on both the wheels and the tracks. Without the conical shape, the wheels would wear out quickly and the tracks would also suffer from excessive wear and tear. So, there you have it. Train wheels are made of a single piece of metal because it's the best way to create a strong, durable, and safe wheel for the demands of train travel. And finally, our AI-powered library is a match when it comes to science and technology. So don't settle for imitations. And if there's something you'd like us to cover, just drop us a comment. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Sensational Tech Channel for more fascinating insights into the world around us.